Hey everyone, it's Marcus with the Best Buy blog, and today I'll be reviewing this. This is the Microsoft Surface Thunderbolt 4 dock. I'll be talking about its design, connectivity, performance, and of course, sharing my final thoughts. Let's start off by talking about the design. The Surface Thunderbolt 4 dock has a small footprint at just six inches in length, three inches in width, and less than one inch in height. It's roughly the same size as a portable power bank. What's interesting is just how many connection points they're able to fit in such a small body. If you're familiar with older Microsoft Surface docks, then you'll know that these Surface docks all had a Surface connection cable. The change to a USB-C connection makes this docking station compatible with any computer that supports Thunderbolt 4. In my case, I was able to connect my Windows laptop, my MacBook Air, and my Chromebook to the Surface Thunderbolt 4 dock. Now on the front of the Microsoft Service Thunderbolt 4 dock, there is one USB-C Thunderbolt 4 and one USB-A 3.1 port. Along the back here, there's a power supply connection, an ethernet port, two USB-A 3.1 ports, and two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports. There's also a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. Now above each connection point, you'll also notice some raised bumps. These bumps indicate the connection type. This allows you to know which connection you're reaching for without actually having to turn the dock around and look at it. Now given all the connections here, it feels like Microsoft actually covered all of its bases. However, one challenge that I found myself running into was that none of my computer monitors actually had a USB-C Thunderbolt 3 or 4 connection. All my monitors supported HDMI or a DisplayPort connections. So for anyone that has an older monitor, they're going to need to get an HDMI or DisplayPort to USB-C adapter in order to connect to this dock. Okay, let's talk about performance. In terms of productivity, on a regular day, I use between two and three different laptops for my work. This is where the Surface Thunderbolt 4 dock has made my life incredibly simple. With this dock, I'm able to connect my wireless mouse, my keyboard, external storage, headphones, my laptop charger, and of course my computer monitor. When swapping laptops, all I need to do is plug in a single Thunderbolt 4 connector to my laptop and everything transfers over. Without this dock, I'd have to manually disconnect and reconnect all of my peripherals. Now a standout feature of the Microsoft Surface Thunderbolt 4 dock here is that it has a throughput of 40 gigabits per second. This is enough to support the video signal from two 4K monitors at a 60 Hz refresh rate. This dock is even capable of charging your laptop while plugged in. In terms of output, this dock is capable of outputting 96 watts, which is enough to charge any laptop. Now, if you know me, I had to test this out for gaming. If your gaming setup supports Thunderbolt 4, the Microsoft Surface Thunderbolt 4 dock is a great companion. It's capable of supporting refresh rates on monitors up to 240 hertz, which is fast enough for even the most hardcore gamers. In my testing, I played a few of my favorite games, including Call of Duty and Tomb Raider, and I didn't notice any stuttering or slowdowns during my gaming sessions. All right, time for my thoughts on the Microsoft Surface Thunderbolt 4 dock. This dock is a great device that acts as an all-in-one hub for all of your workstation peripherals. I'm impressed that this dock can support two 4K monitors while still managing to charge your laptop with up to 96 watts. Absolutely love how clean and minimalist this dock makes my desk look. And I absolutely love how simple it is to swap between my devices. If you're looking for a way to simplify your workstation or share your workstation with friends and family, then you absolutely need to get the Microsoft Surface Thunderbolt 4 dock. Well, that's all for today, everyone. If you'd like to know more about the Surface Thunderbolt 4 dock, you can check out my full review on the Best Buy blog. If you'd like to know what else I'm up to, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at PewX31 or on Facebook and here on YouTube at PewX3. Thanks again, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.